PC, accounting for your future. Hi, this is Dave from APC, and I'm the course director here at APC. In this video, we're going to talk about the SIMA F3 financial strategy exam. Let's have a look at the syllabus. Uh, the syllabus related to F3 will be divided into A, B and C sections, but what are they? To perfect on this review, the financial strategy is just to be the advanced financial management we're going to look at. So section A is talking about how we're going to formulate the financial strategy. So we're talking about the concept of the financial management is where we're going to manage the financial aspect of the company. So why this is the case is because we are all based upon the accounting equation, which means the asset equals the liability plus the equity. Assets, which means the investment decisions we're going to make. Equity plus the liability will be the financing decisions we're going to make. So we got the finance from the equity or debt, and we're going to use that money to invest in the assets that we've uh, are pursuing. Now, of course, raising equity as well as the debt is not for free, particularly for equity. So, for example, we have to think about quite a lot of issue costs related to issuing of equity, which, which will be detailed in the section B of the syllabus. And also, we're going to look at the dividend decisions we're going to make to our investor as well. So, that would be the financial strategies that we're going to be focusing on. Um, is that difficult? Well, the answer for that is no. Uh, but one of the technical bits within the section A is that not only you need to know about the three decisions that we've mentioned, which means the investment, financing, as well as the dividend policy, but also you need to look at from the group's perspective. Because we are looking at the big companies nowadays within the uh, F3 exam. So if you're in the group complaint, if you've got many businesses operating overseas, for example, you have to deal with the hedging bit. Because you're afraid that the exchange rate or the interest rate would move as a result of it. You're going to come up with some of the hedging techniques to deal with those risks. Those were included in the section A for your question. Section B though is looking at the detailed financing as well as the dividend decisions that we're going to make. In the section A, just the overview, section B is talking about what type of financing strategies there are, particularly with the long-term finance related to equity. We're going to talk about quite a lot of these ways to issue equity, to list a company's process, and also the costs associated with that as well. Also, we're going to talk about different dividend decisions as well, either from the Medigliani and Miller's perspective or from the traditional's perspective or the real life perspective. So that's the section B, accounting for 35% of marks in the exam. And finally, we're going to look at the section C, which is the corporate finance. So the, 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 the name within the section C is a little bit confusing. But uh, what interprets the section C of your syllabus is that the, uh, you want to buy another company because you think that another company is profitable and you are going to buy that company. So before you buy it, you have to value that company. You have to know the value of that company is before you spend too many hours to buy it. So that's, for example, that company is worth at $5. So that how are you going to raise that $5 in order to buy it? That's why we have a section C. So within a section C, is talking about the business valuation. Not only are we going to use quite a lot of these uh, technical, as well as the calculations to calculate that value of the company, but also we're going to go through quite a lot of these processes from the start to end. And after buying this company, how are we going to manage the post-transaction issues related to it as well? That's included into the section C for our syllabus. To perform this review, the F3, the financial strategy, is what you've seen in your early study, in your university of your study. How are we going to manage, how are we going to manage the financial aspect within the company from the advanced bit, uh, advanced perspective. But trust me, 
this paper is not that difficult at all if you follow our steps. And let's see in the second part of this video how the F3 exam may be tested. Of course, you are given 90 minutes with 60 questions. You have to get more than 70 marks to pass this exam. Of course, you get, you've got 70, that's fine, you can pass it. But below that 70, you will fail the exam. And all of these questions are objective test questions, including the multiple choice questions, including the um, drop down questions, including the yes or no type of questions, number of entries questions, etc. Of course, we're going to detail that when we come to it. And of course, your assessment will be assessed by the computer. This means that after you submit your answers, you can get the instant result from the computer directly to uh, see whether or not you pass it or you fail it. So that's how the F3 is assessed. And let's move on to the, uh, the third part of the video. So we're going to look at the how APC can help. So we will provide you with all of those HD quality videos going through the whole syllabus in depth so that you can pass this exam with our help. Together with quite a lot of these exam techniques that you haven't seen, uh, you will never see that in uh, other institutional textbooks, but uh, it's the APC tips telling you how you can succeed in the F3 exam. Together with our principal study notes, where uh, our study notes is complying with the latest syllabus, you can rely on those uh, study notes together with our videos, alongside with quite a lot of these practices included in the note, so that you can pass these exam very easily. We provide you with the tutor support because that's so important, especially when you're dealing with the hedging calculations. You might not know how you're going to do that in some of the steps when doing exercises. You can email our tutor and we will provide you with the answer directly. We've also got the pass guarantee as well. This means that if you fail the exam, that's no problem. Uh, you can enroll in the course again free of charge until you pass it. And we are sure that with our help, you can pass the exam relatively easily. Okay, so happy studying and looking forward to seeing you in the class. APC, accounting for your future.